Hey everybody, welcome. This is just a quick little video I thought of. I'd throw together real quick, show you how to do the basics of a uh, exterior PVC conduit. If you need to run wiring outside. This is, like I said, not a how-to, just a quick little video to show it, kind of show you some of the parts. You can find all these parts at your local home store, hardware store, etc. Just got the basic PVC pipe. This is a long sweep, is what it's called. You don't want a sharp 90 because you can't get wiring and fish tapes through there. So you want to make sure that they're long sweeps. This is called an LB. And that basically gives you a cover there that you can take off. You pull your wires up and then you push them through. And this would be like on the, the house end or building end, whatever. Um, roughly you want this somewhere between 18 and 24 inches in the ground, roughly. Uh, check your local codes and make sure you follow them. The uh, the pieces of long pipe that you buy have what's called a bell end, so it'll just slip over the, the next piece. And then they just fit together like that. Like this is another long sweep example. There's couplers that just fit two sections of pipe. There's threaded fittings, male and female, and uh, multiple other options, depending on what you need to do. If you're in the cold country, which is probably half the country, this is called, uh, I think a slip fitting or something like that. Basically you glue the top, glue the bottom, right here on the riser. And this actually goes up and down with the frost that way it doesn't uh, lift your connections here. And uh, make sure you leave a little slack in your wire. Also a good idea to uh, use a deburring tool. And you can see inside of the pipe here, that sharp edge. Just run this around in there and it rounds off that sharp edge. Just makes pulling wires later easier. This is a really slick little uh, cutting tool. Makes cutting the pipe super easy. Ratcheting, real easy. Basically same thing on the other end. Easiest way is uh, get it all installed. You know, this would go into, into the structure. Maybe you want to connect your house to the garage, run a, a little longer piece into the, the wall, you know, caulk it real good. OSI quad works really good for caulk, available at most of your home stores, lots of different colors to match. That way it looks nice when you're done. Um, all your fittings, if you haven't worked with PVC before, all your fittings use a primer first on the inside of and outside of the pipe fitting and then put your glue stick it together hold it for 20 30 seconds and uh, then you should be good when you're ready to pull your wire pop the cover off stick a fish tape through hopefully you have one that's long enough they're available up to I don't know like 240 50 feet something like that if you have a long run 
stick your wire through, tape the wire to it. There's multiple ways of doing it and uh, pull it back through. PVC pipe is available in like half inch. This is three quarter inch, uh, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, two, three. Gets real big. Um, depending on what you're gonna run through it, you wanna size your pipe, make sure it's big enough. If you're not sure, I would say minimum one inch one and a quarter would be a little better if you're gonna to try to run like say a fiber cable or something through um, I would do one and a quarter one and a half as a minimum that way it gives you a little space you know because your bends here and stuff is where you can run into problems um, anyway uh, yeah so hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea and uh, a little bit of info on the parts what it looks like when it's done and uh, also a little tip, if you're going to be digging in your yard, make sure you call, uh, I think it's 811, and they will come out and mark where your utilities are. Make sure you do that before you do any real digging. Um, that way you know where your gas lines, your electrical, all that kind of stuff is in your property. Make sure you don't hit that stuff. If you're not sure, you can always have an electrician, you know, do this part. do the rest of it yourself if you want or just pay them but you know they're gonna be pretty expensive so anyway hope this uh, helped you give you a little explanation and good luck have fun if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them or somebody else will later